Hello everybody, this is Out of the Box Unboxing and in today's episode I'm going to review for you Cordless Planner from Parkside, available in Lidl uh, and on the beginning my opinion about this tool is so-so and if you want to know why, bear with me So, what you are paying for? It's a quite compact uh, 12 volt lithium ion battery uh, cordless planner the battery has a uh, 2 ampere hours capacity and uh, Parkside claims it's uh, powerful in my opinion 12 volts it's not powerful especially if you are working with uh, uh, quite rigid wood uh, that means or that re requires a lot of power so 12 volts for me it's questionable uh, but uh, because those batteries are exchangeable you might buy either additional battery package or if you have another 12 uh, volt um, tool not only from this generation but from the others uh, as well you can replace it and work constantly uh, so this is my main concern other basic features are uh, no load rotation speed uh, almost uh, 15,000 um, uh, exactly 14,500 rpms uh, maybe it is also on the sticker N yes it is um, planning wide 56 millimeters cutting depth from 0 to 2 millimeters as accessories accessories uh, two planner blades for me it's not accessories but it's a must uh, pre, it's, uh, they are pre-mounted and one extraction adapter and two assembly planners it should be here but it's rather empty so I don't know if something is missing in my package or not and uh, what is my concern uh, okay before concern uh, additional feature that is very nice or 50 50 to be honest uh, here this hex key has a special compartment very nice it's a uh, small thing but it's very practical it's 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 good to have it and why it's so so because they could find additional space for this um, key because if you want to change blades you need both of them so this is why it's 50 50 they find for hex for this not so yeah um, my biggest concern was about battery that I have mentioned and second is take a closer look this is a by the way piece of aluminium so it's lightweight um, if I try to adjust you will be able to see it will move no problem at all but if I press it without problem I will squeeze it and in my opinion those are not two millimeters it's like a one millimeter maximum and this is a it's zero now it should be two okay if I press it it's so this is my concern is it done properly and other things we might test or I will test um, uh, how loud it is and three to one Uh, it's quite noisy but in the way it's not um, the noise is soft I would say it's not unpleasant so it's 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 okay uh, tool it's tool needs uh, let's say one second to get uh, up to speed but I think it's uh, it's 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 quite uh, it's quite okay
Um, so, my judgment, I would say 50-50, because for cordless uh, tool, in my opinion, uh, I would expect uh, to be more powerful and, uh, okay, it's, it has uh, two ampere hours, but still, I think uh, you need uh, two batteries for, to, 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 to be able to work. And if you are a DIY user, in my opinion, you don't need a cordless uh, uh, classic one with cord. It would be a better choice. And by the way, it's only 56 millimeters, so uh, standard one are, let's say, wider. I don't remember by heart, but it's like a 80 millimeters. So that might be a gadget that, on the end of the day, will not. Uh, uh, do the job. Uh, I almost forgot the, the, the last feature, the power indicator. Uh, and nice feature, it's shaped like a battery, so thumbs up <laughs> for that feature. But uh, on the end of the day, it should be a practical, not a, let's say, question of design. So, my recommendation it's rather negative because of the practicality in terms of uh, mm, power and uh, the, 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 mm, the planning weight but it's up to you is it enough for you or not thank you for watching stay tuned and see you next time bye